All right, uh, greetings, family. This is Bomani Tamba, and welcome to our Africa for the Africans Tourist Conference call for March 21st, 2021. And this is in reference to all of our upcoming tours that we have for this year and in the future. Uh, so we're set uh, to travel to Senegal and the Gambia April 2nd and return on the 12th. And then we're set for our Ghana May 24th and return uh, June 5th. Uh, so those are the two journeys we'll be talking about, but also we have the fall and winter journey, uh, Tanzania in November 18th to the 29th, and uh, Ghana uh, December 24th to January 5th. So all those details are set on our website, forTheAfricans.org, where you have 100% of the information and every conference call, everything that our dialogue will talk about, I make sure that uh, we have a reference. So uh, the website is information-based, uh, even though it does have music and does have slideshow and does have you know, pictures and, and things like that. But it's mainly to give everyone that we do business with access to the tours and the investment files. That way you have this straight, hardcore, this information in front of you. The main thing that I have in front of me is our website, africaforafricans.org. So once you uh, scroll past uh, the music player that's on your left that you can control by pausing or changing the music, or you can just turn off your your volume button. And look to the right, you see some more of our updated pictures, even though it does say 2006 to 2020. Uh, it's more newer pictures of us in South Africa, Tanzania, uh, even Togo, Benin, and uh, South Africa, and some of the other countries. And then what we're looking to do is this, to show you this, the, the historical progress of this, all the journeys we have taken, and this, the exciting people that have traveled with us, showing us doing this conference on aircraft, uh, just out there having a uh, wonderful dinner, lunch, uh, to nightlife, uh, networking, shopping, all those wonderful things. Just trying to sum up an experience by just connecting with the music, uh, the, the photos, and as you scroll down, you just get access to your details. And the main thing I always tell everyone is all of the information is in the menu of the website. Uh, so for those who are using their phones, tablets, or any other device, the main thing you just have to focus on is the uh, the main menu to get direct access to what you're looking for. Uh, so it lists all of the tours that we talk about and then lists uh, other options and other things like uh, payment options and plan, which just goes through a series of different uh, ways to make payments. Uh, the registration is not so much uh, required as much because as I do each tour, I just get the information that I need. It's uh, something that's still on there, but uh, it's not, not really pushed too much about. But I do have other documents about us, so that has um, my bio, uh, information about my background, uh, where I'm coming from, all of this, how long I've been around as far as this, doing this business. Uh, then you have also um, you know, press release and I have information on there about as far as Africa for the Africans and you know, our vision and mission statements and things like that. And you scroll down, you have information about repatriation and investment. Now these are just general files um, that just talks into details and just kind of just opening your mind up to the, the fact that the future of the world we live in, in is the African continent and that we should you know, think about putting our money together and, and being a part of the future investment of Africa and build black power and black ownership. So that's where those things are going to. I have general articles. Um, uh, you still have some more. Uh, you see a star for Marcus Garvey's uh, vision. So I have some uh, good articles in reference to that. I was look at uh, this, the vision of Garvey being in that world in the 1920s. And you have so much going on in the entire world as far as, like, it's just always going on at other times. But you have us as a people looking at, build the same thing as everyone else is doing. You know, you know, Africa for Africans, just like uh, Europe for the Europeans and Asia for the Asians. And, you know, and we see that mode is even more relevant because uh, as 100 years have passed by, we look at the level of black ownership and it's uh, very lacking. Uh, so I always just you know, let people know that you know, we had great minds in the past that talks about what we should be doing and what we can be doing. And even though we're behind the in the game a little bit, 
uh, these are some of the words and some of the information that have inspired someone like myself to say a hundred years ago, all the things that uh, some of our great minds thought about as came to pass, and we can either just ignore it or just take advantage of this building beautiful relationship in Africa. So the Africa for Africans Tourism and Investment is just an idea, an energy to connect you with a wonderful experience. And then if you're open to live and doing business, and you know, we say, hey, let's put our energy together and look out for each other, whether we're you know, doing business together or not. Uh, so that's what we've been able to build in this wonderful uh, country, Ghana, and looking to build more of that energy also in Senegal, the Gambia, and Tanzania, and in other countries to come. But I always tell people we can only do so much country, and then when you start going to different countries, start thinking about building something after you learn the game and make your connections. So this is going to be a practical example of this, say, hey, we can do business together, the people in, we can make it relevant to the future of, of African nation building. So all of, all of it really is just, you know, straight up this modern day black power energy and every picture everybody you see is all black uh, people. So you tell everyone, uh, only one that's welcome on our private journeys, which these are all private journeys, is a black African family, whether you have born in Africa or uh, it's just uh, for us. Um, that way we can come together and do what we need to do. So uh, tell everyone else, you know, you can take it the way you want to take it. And if you want me to help you do something else, a uh, people here that can do business, but this is our private journey, our private connection. No different from other uh, groups of people who have their private connections uh, to go and do what they need to do and reconnect to what they need to reconnect with and things like that. So just like, you know, Gary talked about, uh, you know, Africa for Africans and you see the world is you know, of all other nations of people doing what they're doing. Uh, so we just do what we need to do. Uh, so I do realize that some people may have sisters, brothers, and husbands, wives, and mothers, fathers that are not black and things like that, you know, because it, it happens nowadays. You could be black as ever. You have a brother of yours that's white as ever, and you are related, like, you know, based on the different things that go on. Uh, but... Um, you know, so you're just trying to just respectfully tell people that they have personal attacks against people. I'm just here about my business and things like that, and this is how we roll on with. So uh, they explain that to people, and they go back and tell somebody all these nasty things about me because I told them that their girlfriend or boyfriend couldn't travel with us. And that's what it is. Uh, so um, anybody, that's why we do video calls, and that's why I talk to everyone, and that's why I repeat the same thing. So, and... Uh, only someone that is just not connected right would want to come with us when we have already explained these things, which I've had someone explain that to me, saying that he doesn't have a problem with us, and I was like, it's not that simple. I want everyone that's coming with us to be free and free open their minds to be in a conversation with their own peers. Anything that you need to speak about, it doesn't matter. Speak about it and just talk as a people. And for the most part, we don't ever get a chance to really do these things. So, and it's the same thing that I've shaped how we work and explain things in our black power community there in Ghana. Um, some people have found it offensive because we tell them, no, this person and no, that person is not allowed and things like that. And it was explained to me that some of these people live in their families and things like that. I was like, yes, it, it's what it is. I know that and understand that. And it's, you have to make a decision. And, you know, and there's not like an tell people it's your decision if you, what you want to make, but that person is not allowed a community agreement and things like that. So this is very private and it's for us to build energy together and everyone I build connection with, my goal is to, for us to connect together and think, and think about us doing things in the future. And so I'm very excited, especially with the last connection I've made in this, the two three countries that we have now, Senegal, Gambia, and uh, Tanzania, which I just came back from, so with a lot of wonderful details and highlights and things like that. A group of us just enjoying a wonderful time together and connecting. And I put that out there, that way uh, anyone listening to any recording at the beginning uh, could be clear about those things now, because you know, these are all public recordings that are available. I want to basically bring the the right people connected to us without any confusion uh, and things like that. And also family, so that's that. So that's our website. Uh, so let me get us on the, the front page of the website or what you will call the home page. You scroll down, you see these links, uh, the ones that get right to the point, uh, Senegal, the Gambia, Ghana, Tanzania, 
and in the Ghana tour at the end of the year, all the links that will take you directly to 100% of the information, which is going to be your tour overview, your tour itinerary, general terms, what to pack, what to bring, uh, language translation, uh, uh, visa information, and then as far as the general terms, make sure you're clear on the general terms because if you change your mind on certain things and things happen, uh, the general terms is what affect uh, those changes and it talks about cancellation and refund and I have that for any business that I do. I just have agreements and in investment uh, project we have Black Star Community where I've gotten to the point where everyone has to sign you know, those terms or they're just not accepted in the group uh, because what people tell you that um, you know, like I tell people, I don't sit around and make things up this instantly. These things have been on the website for years, and we go through the same thing on recorded calls, and and so on. But uh, it's how we deal with situations that people change their minds. And yeah, you know, so it's just it's all of these things I'm talking about it takes time to s sit down, read through, and process. But I just want everyone to appreciate the fact that we went out our way and document everything and put this together versus what some people have out there where you just go there and you like you beat them upside the head for more information like can I get an itinerary, can I get this information, can I do this and things like that. Everything is there before anyone has to put anything down and everyone have access to it without even having to communicate with me. Uh, so you know, so usually once people communicate with me, I'm ready to get you, you know, get things going and make sure we're clear to get set up. So I'm hoping usually I don't have to go back through certain things and when you do tell everyone, make sure that every single article on each of the tour links is read because it covers 100% information. Those are the things um, that's there, and I haven't gotten to the point where we have to have people sign general terms yet, uh, but I'm hoping that we don't. Um, but uh, that's what we go by for the recording again. If anyone changed their minds and if anyone wants transfers, uh, I do my best uh, to just work it out for you because the goal when we connect and meet is to get you to the African continent based on what you tell me when we first talk and or uh, get you on the land and build what you want to build and that's my goal is to deliver everything that uh, we talk about and my whole life schedule is surrounded based on what we agree on so I, I made myself available throughout the week and for all of these journeys and anything else going on in life is pushed to the side or pushed off and it's just me and the people who we're doing business with community it is 60 of us so we're making great progress uh, we're almost completed um, filling out uh, the first 15 acres and we're moving on right now to really building energy in the next 50 acres uh, so for those who ever want information you can always send me a message on whatsapp or email or just click on the link check out the details for black star community and we'll help you just uh, get set up so right now we do have someone or some people building and a few people on their way so that I usually talk about in detail on a complete separate uh, conference call, which is sent out in the email list, uh, which the last conference call was sent out in that sequence call. Uh, and this one, that was titled the Africa Tour Conference Call. And those uh, for the investment or repatriation community will be titled uh, in those reference. I'm scrolling down. On the website, the last thing I'll just uh, go to before I just change from the website to a few other things and just be more in a speed to just open questions out so we can talk about uh, certain things. Now, what I have is our, our last group page, uh, grab group picture, which is December 2020, and you scroll all the way down, you see all the list of our group photos. Um, these are, you know, you see me in every single last one of them. Uh, I shouldn't look much different because, you know, I've not aged much, uh, uh, but you'll see myself and in, in the newer ones you see my little boy um, and that's you know our photos showing you that this is what we do consistently and we take it seriously because we believe in building longevity and generational business and generational energy and if we are to get involved in things and then quit and change our mind consistently well I personally wouldn't take anyone serious but you know, I'm sure other people probably feel the same way also and then you're looking at the world that you're dealing with, we're competing with, with the world as far as everything. Everything is a global competition. The world is just open for global business, and it's kind of like you know, the laws of the jungle. You know, you either you know, either you progress or just get you know left behind, obsolete. Uh, so, and we're just making our mark and building our connection. And most of it, all the people that you see us with is people that we just started meeting from that time frame and building fresh relationship. You know, uh, I just really believe that 
you can go out there and meet people and you and them connect and do things together. So let me click over to the Facebook and go through the face. For the Facebook, um, what I have is this group pages for all the groups that we're going on. So in the new letter that you receive, it will give you the links to the Facebook group page, but relative name for the exact groups are on uh, Facebook. And you know, when we travel, it's one portal where we can share pictures and videos because as the time goes along, we just change the name to the newer group name and things like that. So it just shows a long list of just pictures, videos, and things like that. And as far as my personal Facebook page, uh, at one point I just found it's the best way to save documentation. And what I have is just all of the tour photo galleries of what we've done from December 2006 all the way to December 2020. Uh, so that's you know 14 years of just Ghana alone, and in between it there's a few other countries I mentioned earlier, Brazil, Ethiopia, and so on. Uh, that's in it. So you can go back and look at the photos and see us moving around. It's like if you never have an idea of what it is being in Africa and so on. I'm not saying it's that much different from anywhere else, but you'll see us restaurant, hotel, moving around on tour sites, taking pictures together, moving, and things like that. And it gives you that picture visual and then there's relative videos of, you know, the videos don't go back as much because uh, didn't really get into using the clip um, way of this uploading videos until really like 2011 so um, the videos before that was limited but now ever since like 2011 uh, there's a ridiculous amount of videos for each uh, tour that we've traveled on uh, so you'll you also see the video version of it uh, right there on uh, YouTube and you can click on playlists or you can click on videos, but if you scroll down once you're on the YouTube channel, then you see Black Star Repatriation Community, then you see multiple playlists, which have like the last uh, few Ghana videos. And you even see all the videos that we did just as you see us in the age of just socializing, other people doing interviews. But everything that you notice is just us as black people connecting together, dialoguing and building the energy together. So uh, let's put that out there to let people know that that's our focus. A lot of people are looking for uh, and you know let's, uh, let, let's do it together. So when you scroll down you just see there's a lot of playlists. I believe in creating playlists because we have, I have over coming up on like 2,500 videos on YouTube uh, over the last uh, say about last 14-15 uh, years. Uh, so I find out that's categorizing them and do those things and put them in different playlists. For those who subscribe to it and do anything, make comments, if you, especially if you travel with us, you're free to, free to do so you know, as best as possible. I'm not one of those people that, that spend the first uh, five minutes of my video telling people to do those things. I want to just share my information of what we're working on and just connect with other people and just do business and us just come together and just Take things to another level. And this, this show, you know, show the rest of the non-believers and people who just see things a certain way that you know, we can do this and we can just enjoy a great time and we can just be respectful and we can just, you know, look out for each other and do all those wonderful things uh, without any white person involved in the equation. You know, because um, this depressing stuff that we can't do without uh, a white mass, a white boss, and all kind of stuff. It's just you know, ignorant stuff. And I tell people, I was like, yo, my brain works just like anybody else who, you know, who, who, who use it. And the rest, and then there's a lot of us out there like that. So we may have disadvantages in, in certain things, but what I find is that corporate economics solve a lot of problems. You know, you just have to figure out how to get along with all the people that you're going to corporately put your economics with. Uh, so that's what we're doing right now as this research and development project building a community because it's like, like I mentioned 60 of us and then I've traveled on journeys where it's 30, 40 of us and you know besides one or two people you know that have you know special attitude and things like that you know everybody's good but I feel like once we dialogue and communicate and go through things we can be on that page and I'm just looking through the newsletter just to make sure that I didn't forget anything. The news that a lot of it sometimes is uh, similar, but like I mentioned, the links and certain details are there, and especially with dates and things like that. And it's also just to share a presentation, and I do have a general topic list. 
So on the general topic list, I usually you know usually cover most of the things on that topic list. And the one thing I gotta mention to everyone that once you're on tour, uh, the goal is to get everyone a tour book, whether it's digital or printed, and to get that book to you ahead of time. The digital version will be the version that we'll keep doing. And whenever I can do a printed version from here on, based on the numbers and everything, we'll still print the book. Um, but the trips that I have coming up, the next two, very low in numbers. And usually the people who do the books, they want you to pay for a lot of books and things like that. So I don't know how that's going to work out, but um, we'll have all the tour information. We'll have your final itinerary, your overview. I have some just uh, reminder notes, uh, introduction to the tour crew and staff, uh, a profile of all of the things that you're going to be doing on tour, the main highlights and, and things like that in this uh, detail. And then if we're doing or getting into business or investment and things like that, we'll have that in there. The community that I talk about, our Black Star community, those are things that we keep in there. Flyers of all the next tours and the technology work we're doing, you know, all the business that we do, just keep that information in it also. And then this is a nice souvenir gift um, that you can just uh, share. And our goal is to let people know that, you know, we're going to take it to another level and not just have you travel on a journey with us, but travel on a journey where, you know, we're going to show the highest level of professionalism and organization. Uh, so we have tour pens, um, tour postcards, uh, tour T-shirts uh, for everyone that's traveling with us on the next uh, few tours. And let me just explain to everyone one week you know, to wear it on this day. And the colors, uh, whether it's red, black, and green, and the colors that are white for Ancestral Day. And just kind of explain those things in detail. Uh, so for those of us that are traveling on the different tours, I have those things uh, written in the departure and reminder list. It talks about the colors, it talks about the meter points and things like that. And the departure reminder list will be a summary of all the things that we've talked about. And that's one of the most important, well, all of the files on the, the tour link are, are important, but that kind of sums up a lot of different things. And as a matter of fact, uh, that's kind of, that's literally what we went to on the last conference call, we went to this overview of this uh, point one to point 30. All right, cool. So some of the final points I uh, want to make is for those who are traveling with us to Senegal and the Gambia, just make sure you have a COVID uh, test. If you took the vaccination, I don't know if you still have to take a test or not, but that's something that uh, we have to find out. I've been digging through information, and I can't see anything that confirms it, that with your COVID vaccination, you can avoid taking the test. I think what it does, it kills the thing of uh, contact tracing and you being quarantined, which we don't have any quarantine situation on our, you know, on any of our tours. Uh, so let's make sure you have a, a PCR COVID test good for five days before departure. So we depart April 2nd. So the ideal thing is to make sure that uh, you have it March uh, 30th, uh, 31st, April 1st, and we travel on April 2nd. So that's the best I can say. And then for those who are traveling with us to Ghana, uh, you have to do a COVID test when you get to Ghana, uh, which is $50, and we'll just go through more of that. But before you go, you have to have a COVID test result three days before you get on the flight. And it's the airlines that's requiring it. Uh, so we're flying on Delta and KLM, and that's the situation for now. So as we even get closer um, to leaving for Senegal and Gambia, we're going to go through this on a private Zoom call. And it's the same thing uh, when we travel into Ghana in May. We're going to have those private calls usually about closer to about a week or so before we leave. Uh, that's before anybody would even take any tests. And so we just can finalize and go through everything all together at one point. So everyone, please make sure that uh, you are on the WhatsApp if you're traveling with us. And if you are ready to travel with us and you're, you know, you're about to get things going, we can add you to the WhatsApp group. And that's the best thing I can do to post all of the information. Plus the WhatsApp is a perfect when you get to Ghana. You can connect to a Wi-Fi network at the hotel, you know, you can just simply just send me a message and I can reply back to you or I can say, hey, just meet me downstairs and we'll talk about it. Uh, just trying to use the technology as efficient as possible. Or if somebody's traveling with us and then something happened, they lose their bag or they miss their flight or something happened, they post a message in a group page and, you know, we'll all see it and be like, hey, okay, uh, we'll work it out to get uh, them a different pickup at the airport. All of these things are connected to just make it a smooth connection for us to travel, move around, and do business. So once everyone is on WhatsApp with me, any text messages or any communication that you have, you can just send me a message to that. You can still call me on a regular mobile line. 
this, the uh, text itself keeps a trail of our text that we're, on whatever we're communicating about, whether I'm giving you information or sharing information, and you know, that way we can reduce the amount of emails that's sent, and we can just keep a quicker track of quicker messages and things like that. Plus, it's the, it's the quickest way for me to respond because 100% of the business with as far as tourism investment, our business partners in different countries, we're all on WhatsApp as a global network so we can all call and communicate uh, based on us being connected to a network. All right, so family, I may have uh, and I may have not, uh, but what I want everyone to do is just, uh, jot some questions down and let's get into a dialogue about anything that you want to talk about, especially those who travel with me in the next two months um, to Africa. Uh, so I'm going to put everybody back in mute mode, uh, star six to unmute yourself. All right, Green Sam, go money here. Um, just uh, give your name, uh, what journey you're traveling on, and where you're calling from, and then ask a question. Hello, Bamani. Uh, greetings. Uh, this is Samuel Carr. We're going on the uh, Senegal and Gambia thing. I'm a little concerned about my, my flight coming out of uh, Nashville to Atlanta, but it's only about 35 minutes till I have to catch the next flight going to New York. Uh, yes, so the good thing about it, the New York flight is late, but I uh, do realize it's a bunch of craziness with both tours um, that Delta Airlines keep adjusting their schedules as far as their flights, and they're reducing flight schedules and they're creating. So I promise you, as we even speak on this call, that I will make sure that I talk to them and give you a better layover. I did do that initially. Uh, but I'm sure certain things have changed to make it to where you see a, cl uh, a layover a little shorter than you do. So once the layover gets that short, uh, less than an hour, they have to give you something better, unless literally the gates are right there by each other to where you can just walk walk over to the next flight. So I'll be working you that myself and also for um, uh, Philip. All right, all right. That's, that's basically it on that part. And uh, I listened to your comments about the connections of people when we do get there. And that that interests me a whole lot too. You know. Are you talking about the WhatsApp? You, you have a connection with different, you know, uh, with Senegal. I know you you kind of favor Ghana. I'm not not, not I'm not knocking Ghana. I, I would like to see Ghana too. You know, I know that's your home base. I would like to, you know, but you were telling us that you have connection with people in Senegal that you might want to try to invest in or stuff like that, right? Um, as far as like, uh, like I just when I just came out from Tanzania when I went there. Um, I'm just a network person. I go places and you know you just enjoy the country, you learn the culture, go to a circle places, connect with people, and you kind of just. You know, kind of analyze things, and then you, you know, you pick up a whole lot when you do that. That's how I learned all the stuff I learned in Ghana, and got the level of support I got there. So that's my goal to do the same thing there. Uh, Senegal and Gambia, I went there before I ever went to Ghana. That's how I'm able to really just compare them a little easier. You know, uh -huh. but that is the goal to just do the best we can do. But as far as this journey that we have, we don't even have the just normal speed have. So we just like just trying to just. And then also it's nine of us now versus the multitude of people that we did have at one point. Um, so I just recommend we just take it easy and everything. And I am working on a few things as time go along uh, before the journey, okay. arranging a few people to talk with us and connect with us. But anyone that's directly or literally interested in any kind of business or investment, uh, I have our tour guide and a few other good people, and you know, we do our best to just connect you with the right people and things like that. Uh, for the countries uh, outside of Ghana. All right. That's all right. That's it for me right there. That part. Thank you. Uh, absolutely. You're welcome. Yeah, for my excuse me. This is Will from Orlando. I'll be traveling on May 24th to June 5th. And you said we had. To, I know we have to take the COVID test, but did you call the particular type of name that uh, we have to test? Can you tell me that name again? Uh, yes, um, greetings, um, uh, Will. Uh, the name of the test is uh, COVID-19 PCR test. And the PCR, PCR test does sometimes take anywhere from one to three days. 
Okay. Uh, do you know, is that the one where they stick that thing way back up in your nose? Is that the one? Do you know, Robin? They can take PCR tests by either um, the swab in your nose or the one in your throat. I've done both, and both of them are terrible and awful. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I just don't like that in my nose. Uh, okay, that's what I wanted to know, a CCR test. Okay, thank you. Yeah. That's how much I love going to Africa. I'm willing to let the people experiment on me. <laughs> Bamani? Uh, greetings. Um, greetings. This is Valerie Driscoll Brown. I am in Locust Grove, Georgia, and we've commuted a bit over email. I uh, am very interested in traveling with you to the Ghana trip in December, and I was a little late joining this call, but I just wanted to find out exactly is it too early to begin to make the payments, or that's what my concern is. I just wanted to go ahead and register with you for that trip. Uh, no, it's not too early on. The payment uh, process uh, starts early. I usually try to get people to start a year and just pace themselves, but even for those who come in later, they just kind of you know, still just uh, pace your, yourself. The most important thing is always that uh, you've read through all the files, the general terms, the overview, the itinerary, and things like that, and you're clear on it. Uh, once you're clear on those things, you can um, make a payment based on the payment options or whichever way you want to send a payment, and then I get your receipt uh, slash invoice um, just to show all of the what's agreed on, and then the deposit of user a flight uh, or flight uh, or flights, and then uh, other part of the deposit is used to reserve you know, whatever for the bus and uh, tour guide and transportation and hotels and things like that. So. Uh, the earlier we have more people, the better we can start getting all those things organized. Uh, right now, I do have a few people, but um, uh, yes, that tour is uh, up and running for um, for anyone that want to join. Okay, great. Yeah, I've read through everything probably ten times, so yes, I'm really good with it. Okay, um, so appreciate it. Uh, I have about th two, three other people I know that are very interested as well. So I just wanted to kind of organize that so we everybody can be on point. Well, perfect. So all those things uh, are clear. Did it take you a long time to read through all the stuff? There's a lot of information. I, I'm, a, I'm a reader. <laughs> I'm very excited about this whole process, including the property. So <laughs> you'll hear more from me. <laughs> all right, perfect. And we can always meet in social in Jonesboro and then just anyone else. I'm always available to buy things like even video calls and things like that. And plus, have, we have our whole life published online, YouTube, Facebook, uh Instagram and so on, but uh, it's always good to meet like real people and uh, before you actually go places and things like that. But I know most of us live in different, uh, far away from where we are here in Georgia. So. Yeah, most of, yeah, my friends and I here that are interested are kind of all over the place. But yes, but definitely my husband and I are, are locally. So yeah, we can definitely arrange something. But I want to go ahead and kind of send, get it over to you so I can make sure I've locked it in. So I'll be doing that really soon. Okay, perfect. And you can always send me a message or reach out to me and we can talk and get it worked out and all set up. And then the main thing is um, if you don't have a visa email and things like that or any requested information you need, just let me know and I'll get it to you. So I'm not sure if I've ever sent you. That's always one of the most interesting one I want everyone to look at before they commit to anything. Um, which one was that you said about the visa? Oh, yes, uh, the uh, Ghana visa. Uh, which I, is I think it was in the paperwork on your website. Is it on the paperwork on your website? Uh, yes, it's, uh, it's, uh, there's a visa file, so that gets right to it. And then also it has a list of people that are inviting us uh, for you to fill out because everything now is the online application. But at just any point, if you don't have something, just let me know, and my goal is to get it to you immediately. And that's okay. why I got everybody that um, once they made payments and connect. I connect them to some form of WhatsApp group, uh, which also put us on WhatsApp together to where any message and things can communicate that way. I can just, you know, things that, you know, things are easy to miss at times. I can get information immediately to uh, individuals. Okay. Well, awesome. Uh, count me in. I, I love the vibe. I love the vibe of the group. I think I've watched just about every um, video <laughs> that you did from your last one in December. <laughs> so I am ready. Well, I'll, I'll get everything together. <laughs> Thank you so much.
I appreciate that I'm saying and also saying that's a lot of videos. I, I'm always wondering if people really sit down and watch all the videos. <laughs> I watch, I read, I take notes when I read. So yeah, I like to know what I'm getting into. So I'm definitely feeling the vibe and um definitely want to be a part of it. Yeah, perfect. Isn't that incredible? You just wake up in a world now where you actually could just look at information and process it. And, I love it. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a beautiful thing because it, 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 it feeds into the type of person I'm in where information is the most important thing and don't ask me for nothing until I get all the information I need. I, I, I'm, I love it. I'm excited and definitely I'll be interested in future trips as well, but definitely I want to make the one for Ghana. Mm -hmm. I appreciate you, um, Valerie, and I look forward to connecting with you. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. You have a, you guys have a great evening. All right. Thank you. All right, family, the line is open for anyone who have any questions or want to dialogue about anything. Uh, Juma, it looks like your line is open. Oh, well, you know me. Um, <laughs> this is Juma Rafiki out here in Los Angeles. I'm going to the Senegal, uh, the Gambia trip. The only thing, only question I had was, what are your uh, contacts telling you in Senegal about the atmosphere on the ground? Oh, yes, absolutely. Great question. Uh, yes, I have a um, tour guide and a tour assistant. Um, both of those are older brothers, um, and they're, um, you know, they've been able to tell me that um, once the situation started in a few days, it died down once uh, the opposition leader was released, and now everything is getting back to normal. Also, they mentioned that there's an outbreak in Senegal as far as COVID-19, and then they do have a location for us to take our COVID-19 test once we leave from Senegal to process to the Gambia. Uh, so beyond that, uh, the extended climate is good and uh, everybody's just getting back into the normal energy of business. And then as far as Gambia, uh, they said, you know, everything is going smooth there, no, no drama. Right. So um, when I went to you with Ghana, um, I was really impressed and I really enjoyed the ride on that nice tour bus that you had. We don't have that. <laughs> oh, I thought we were going to have that, yeah. No, it's not. It, it's not. It's nine of us. I like to just use the budget as best as we can. Oh, okay. No I air conditioning, huh? No, I mean we're gonna have a good bus with air conditioning. It's just um, just so you try to work the numbers. So you know you can ride around the big coach bus. The bags are easy access yeah. on the bottom and things like that. Uh, but uh, since we're a smaller group, yeah. but it's a Toyota Costa. It's the bus that we use uh, outside of when we have a big group of really like thirty to forty people, and that's so the same thing as what we use in Tanzania. So, will, will will this bus have the ability to charge your devices on the bus too? Uh, no. So what I do recommend is get a portable charger. Okay, I have that. Um, what was the other question? Uh, it's it definitely not a luxury bus, but it will get us where we need to go. Uh, that's the, and then what I've done is uh, make sure that we're on a nice five-star resort owned by a group of Gambians, uh, which is our Ocean Bay. So right. We got it set up to where we enjoyed us a nice little, you know, getaway. But I had to adjust the other hotel uh, in Senegal because uh, they only uh, all of the rooms only have one bed in it, and some people are not feeling that situation. Um, we had to just uh, go to another hotel, which um, is fine because it uh, gives us what we need, but it also helped adjust from that expensive hotel, especially since we don't have our numbers and things like that. So. I'm finalizing a new tour book uh, to send everybody in the next few days. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be nice. But the single accommodations are still available for those people who pay for oh, that, right? Oh, yes. Um, yeah, 100%. Uh, you pay for a single room, you, you guarantee a single room. Um, without a doubt, want to make sure everybody has their comfort. Okay. All right, then. I'm ready to go. Yeah, perfect. So you mentioned that you took a COVID-19 vaccination. Now, yeah, I take my okay. second shot on the on the 26th, and I'll have a shot card with me um, in my um, passport. All right. So what is, what is, what is being explained to you? Because what I'm trying to find out is documentation, which I've not been able to find. Um, as far as once you take the vaccination the vaccination card, if there's if because you know when you deal with KLM, their their requirements is COVID-19 tests. So the requirement is never saying that hey, just because you have a, a vaccination card, you don't have to take the COVID-19 test. So that's what no. I'm, I'm never clear about. And maybe yeah. I have to get them on the line and get the right person to explain it to us. 
Um, well, just to make sure you and a few other people that have taken the exact mission. Yeah. I don't know if you plan on taking a test still or not. No, I mean, just to be sure, after, after I take my second shot on the 26th, on the 30th, I'm going to do, I'm going to take a pre-COVID test, uh, you know, at the VA where I work at. So I'll, I'll have both. All right, perfect. That's a, a sweet game plan. Mm-hmm. But the the shot card is is issued by the CDC, so like I said, I'll have that documentation with me as well. Uh, so when you were there, was it was the line like around like three four blocks? Did no, I work, uh, I'm a veteran and I work for the VA, so everything's really easy for us. Oh, cool. Then. I don't take my I don't take mine in the community. I take mine at work with the other veterans. Hey, beautiful perks. Yeah, you were in the Navy too, right? Oh, yes, I am a Navy man, a uh, U.S. military veteran myself. Right. Okay. Uh, but but um, they won't see me at the VA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, man. You know, if it, if it wasn't for the fact that I was going to be traveling through these two airports, I had a friend who... Uh, who uh, who came who contacted it? But she, she was traveling through multiple airports, so I just decided just to be on the safe side. I don't know anybody who's taken it who has died yet that I know of. It's it's one of those things where you have a lot of misinformation passing around and things like that. So um, I know there are yeah. one set of people say certain things and and things like that, and you know, and some people are saying that um, they don't believe in coincidence and a bunch of things like that, but. Uh, you know, um, it's always going to be those debates and things like that. Um, so. Sure. Yeah, so one thing I want to do is just, you know, I would love for our geniuses in Africa to come up with their own African national vaccine for all African people, and I'll be the first one in line. Right. As far as the other experiments, you know, they're going to have to hunt me down. <laughs> well, Tanzania had their own um, um, organic treatment for it but the world the world health organization i think they tried to talk them out of a manufacturing oh, they rejected, they rejected it oh i thought you may have rejected it like they have to stamp on what's they're not in the world of yeah yeah if they don't approve it it's not real so you know but we don't pay any attention to them anyway like that okay well thanks Bomani. i'll see you guys all right brother uh, we're getting there we'll do a live introduction uh video introduction and things like that so we can get that out the way. Okay. All right, Later. Uh, all right, take care. Hey, Bomani, this is Kamisha. Greetings, everyone. Um, uh, greetings. So, greetings. So I'm going to Tanzania. I know that's a while from now. But I just wanted to know how far in advance from November do you suggest um, applying for the visa? Oh, uh, yes, uh, definitely. I um, recommend applying for it two months before you travel. Okay, two months. And at the okay. two-month mark, we'll have your uh, ticket. Uh, that way you can just upload your ticket. But anyone that want to apply for it a little earlier, generate them a flight itinerary versus the actual ticket, which is you can upload the ticket or the itinerary. But they just need to know everyone's flight schedule. Okay, okay. So I have some time. Oh, yes, right. so definitely. That was all for now. Thank you. Right, perfect. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hi, Bumani. Uh, greetings. It's Susan. I'll be going to Senegal with you, um, my daughter and I. I have a question. Is there, uh, because the bus is not as big, will there be, a, is there like a bag limit for us? Uh, yes. Um, uh, last time we went on that, we, we used the same bus. It was in Tanzania. It was 14 of us, and uh, in some parts is, we had to put the, the bags in the back of the bus. But... You do have a carousel on top of the bus. Uh, now okay. It doesn't have, uh, in Dar es Salaam, the city, you can't put the bus on top of the bus. Okay. That's, that's, that's the only city that we have on any schedule that you can't do that. But also, for the most part, the goal is to put the heavy bags on top of the bus and get it pinned down and secure when we're traveling from the airport to the hotel and then from the hotel to the, to the Gambia. And then uh, for those who have, like, smaller bags and so we put it in the back seat, but the bus will be big enough to where everybody have, they have space, you know, everybody can sit on one seat and then they have another seat open. 
It's oh, uh, good. It's a it's like a thirty seat bus, but it's just not a coach bus. And right, right, yeah. that's fine as long as it's moving. Um, yeah, I mean it's Africa, so I asked because I had like a bunch of stuff that I was gonna like donate. Are we still doing that? Are we still like gonna donate stuff to like a a school? I don't have a designated school and location. What we always do is uh, we just get a recommendation from our hosts, and they will usually select a school until we get a good feel of where it's ideal for us to bring donations. Uh, so oh. I got two Senegalese people with me, the tour guide and the tour assistant. Uh, so they'll be able to just uh, get us a school or orphanage, and you know we'll be able to just stop by, visit, and show love. So it'll be more last minute than anything else since uh, we don't have that planned out. But so if you're going to bring school supplies and donations, absolutely. Um, uh, we're I mean, I could just leave it with them if, if it's, you know, like you, it's not something that is panned out. I, I I'm not expecting. No, if we have supplies, you want to make sure you give it to people and you see them because then we'll also collect uh, donations and we give it directly to the people that we see. Okay. So we explain to people when we do donations and things like that, trying to get our minds open to, you know, because what people do is we send a bunch to somebody and we hope that it gets to people who need to get to in Africa, which sometimes I don't think it does. No, uh, it doesn't. Well, yeah. sometimes it does. It just depends. But most of the time, no. Um, they are trying to do something practical. So I like to usually, like, record it and show people that, you know, we're doing something just impersonal and we're coming and, and then even when people give me things, I'm showing them that we, you know, things like that. Okay. So as long as people have supplies and things like that, uh, we'll definitely do that. Uh, so we have plenty of time to do it. We have uh, plenty of open time in there. We just we just got a bunch of other things that um, uh, we're working on and haven't picked one out yet. So okay. please, uh, please just definitely bring anything you want to bring. The more the better. And then once you get rid of it, then you can buy it. You can replace it with more things. Oh, yeah. Shop, shop, shop. Okay. That was my question. Thank you. I look forward to it. Good job. Perfect. Uh, definitely look forward to connecting with you and everything. And I'll be uh, sending you guys, uh, hopefully in a conference, call you guys out. But I'm, I'll be looking to send a, a Zoom link to where we can uh, talk via Zoom and we can all do a video introduction. So next person, um, let me get your name, where you're calling from, your question. And also, family, if you are, you have to press star six to unmute yourself. All right, so family, uh, those who don't have any questions, uh, it's what it is. Um, I'll do my best to post whatever we can post in the WhatsApp group page. But um, between now and uh, me traveling to Senegal and Gambia, I'll be working on all the things I need to work on. So if you definitely need to communicate with me, send me a message in WhatsApp and uh, or call me, and I'll communicate with you and. And uh, definitely, and for everyone uh, that is uh, traveling, recommend always that you uh, just sign up for Delta Sky Miles. Sky Miles, you're also adding in your phone number and your um, your email address. And whenever there's any updates or any issues with your ticket, it will be sent to you via email. Or you can always just click on the um, on the Delta Fly app or, or or just log into your Sky Miles. Yes, I thought I was unmuted, but I realized I was not. My name is Keisha, calling from Boston. I had a question. You mentioned, I think, uh, to another caller that uh, that person would need to upload the ticket and a visa. And my question, I think, I asked was, where would I uh, need to upload my ticket and my visa heading to uh, to Ghana? Have you been on our website, AfricaForAfricans.org? So, I have. So yeah. right on that site is where I would need to upload it. Okay, not a problem. So I'm gonna yeah. So once you're on the website, if you're traveling to uh, Tanzania with us or Ghana, you just click on the regular, um, the relative link. An example for Ghana. Once you click on that, uh, the Ghana May uh, 2021 link, visa article, the uh, actual article to click on, and it will just connect you to the embassy's um, portal to do your visa. But directly, you can go to um, the Ghana Embassy uh, website in the U.S., and it will process you through that. 
Um, and it's the same for those who are traveling on Tanzania. Most of, most of the, the countries are now looking to move towards that kind of process. Tanzania is full, just digital. I can't say Ghana is the same because I haven't applied for Ghana visa in a while. I'm sure you still have to mail your passport in uh, to get a Ghana visa. But in Tanzania, you don't have to do that. You just have to have scanned copies. So once you click on the, um, you know, once you click on Tanzania uh, link, uh, they'll be able to do that and follow through. So. And you can also do this directly at the embassy. So the, so the answer to your question directly is from the website and also from the uh, embassy's uh, website uh, for those who are traveling to Tanzania or Ghana. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah, you're welcome. And then for those who are going to the Gambia, um, the Gambia situation is a little different with the, uh, the visa. Um, and for those who are wondering if it does cost $200, unfortunately it does cost $200, but uh, Tanzania and Ghana offers you multiple entry um, for only $100. The Gambia visa is a straight up five year visa, so that's the advantage versus the one year you get to Tanzania or the, and in Ghana you can get up to five years, but sometimes you get three years or maybe four years. All right, so um, that even opens up to see if anyone have any questions about anything dealing with the visa, because that's always one of those things. My family, the line is open, um, and if no one else have any questions, uh, we can close and then we just uh, keep in touch. Hello, Vermani. Uh, greetings. Yeah, this is Joyce. Yeah, I just um, went online to apply for the visa for um, Ghana. So I went to um, Ghana Embassy site and I filled in all the information they required for that. And I also paid for prepaid postage. You can do that on the site. And I also prepaid for my COVID test. So after I did all of that, they sent me an email of the form that I had filled out. So now I'm just waiting for them to send me another form that I'll be mailing in to the embassy along with my passport. So I'm in the process of getting my Ghana um, visa. And that's what you have to do. Uh, perfect. Uh, thank you for the sharing that, uh, as you can see, family. Uh, some of these processes do change, so that's all... Uh, you know, take our own initial responsibility to you know, also double check on any website of the uh, embassy of uh, the country that you're going to uh, because they also have their, they're, they're going to be more updated with that. Uh, so what I provide for you on our website is this, uh, the things that you need to kind of fill in what you need and then if you see something that you don't have information on, you can just always email it to me. But I uh, appreciate it, um, Joyce, and everything is looking good with that process and does everything look like it while I have you on? Oh, yeah, everything's fine with that. But what I did was I used that form that you sent me. I think it got your information on it. Uh, I, yeah, uh, the sample visa application. Yeah, I used that, and I filled in all of my information. So I would have it, once I went online, I would have everything down so I wouldn't have to be running and scrambling since I would be on the computer. You know, I had everything right there in front of me. So when it came time, I had to fill the form in on the computer. Everything was right there in front of me. I could just refer to, to that form. So that's a good way to do it. Just have everything prepared in advance before you go on the computer. This way you don't have to be jumping up and running and looking for something. Yes, I yeah, appreciate it, uh, Joyce, and uh, that's, um, yeah, and yeah, that stuff is pretty as stressful as possible, so yeah, I'm always trying to do my best to make sure we can just create uh, simple uh, policies and just things, um, practices to just make things work easier. So perfect, so thank you for using that right there. That's um, always a good one. And um, beyond that, uh, you're clear, well, yeah, I was talking about the ticket, um, your, yeah, everything your, is your fine. Everything's fine. Perfect. Uh, you, your 
need to move around or you need to add any meals or anything like that, sometimes the meal adding part, you may have to wait to like closer to like uh, maybe like two weeks or so, but uh, beyond that, you should be able to do everything else. Okay. It's very easy doing it online. Uh, you're talking about a visa, right? Or their visa process may not have been as simple, but I'm sure they'll get to a point where they do um, a full digital visa sooner or later. I hope so. Yeah, because some you know, people still tell me that they feel tense about mailing their passport. They're like, do have to mail my passport? And then they're like, my real passport? <laughs> you know what I'm and I'm like, yeah, I wish you, could, they, you can like, send them a copy of it, but uh, yeah, you have to send a real passport. Right. And I didn't want to pay anybody to do it. Last time, when I, when I got a South America uh, visa, I had to pay. And I didn't, I didn't a third-party company? Yeah, so I just, did, I just did everything myself. Oh, yeah, you got to be careful on third-party companies. Um, and my record is still shows you know, someone applying for a third party to get their Brazil visa, and that was the only person that didn't make it. Oh, wow. Yeah, you got a visa after, you know, like, basically when we're finishing up our trip in Brazil. So the best, you know, so when I share the visa information, it's for us as together to do it together, and I'm available always if anybody have any issue with the visa. Um, but sometimes, you know, we don't know better, and, and, and sometimes we don't have much of an option, but Ghana and the countries that we travel to, uh, you can do your own visa process. Uh, and, you know, you know, so that way we can just all take accountability for it. And then you, the good thing about what the visa process that you have now, it has that... Um, it has that one one day mail, so now you don't have to worry about your your, your passport just being out in the elements you know, for more than like a day, and then you have a tracking number and a tracking system, which is the only way I would recommend anyone sending out their passport to any embassy. Right, but like I said, it's very easy doing it on online. You know, just fill out that form that. Bomani sent you. Have all the information right there, and then when you um, go online, you got everything that you need to fill in on that form is right there. So it's very easy. They don't need to pay anybody. <laughs> there you go, Rock That's what I'm talking about. Cut out the middle people. <laughs> Cut out the middle people. Use that money spent in Ghana. How about that, family? All right, so um, Sammy, I don't want to hold anybody else up. I uh, appreciate you, Joyce. Do you have another question? I was going to see if anyone else oh, has any other questions before we close. No, that's it. All right, uh, appreciate you. All right, family, uh, last call. Anybody have any questions before we close? All right, well, perfect. I'm going to um, unmute everyone. And this, um, all right, so family, good night. Appreciate everyone. You good night. You take care of yourself, and we'll keep in touch, and I'll be on standby. Okay, good night. Good, good night, everybody. Yeah, good night. Good night.